Yo, what's up guys? My name is Daniel and today we're going to be talking about Remix OS Player. I'm going to be talking about uh, what it is, how to install it, and why you probably should hold off on installing it for now. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Uh, so first and foremost, what is Remix OS Player? Um, well, as you can see on screen, it does mention it's the most advanced Android game emulator for PC. Um, now, it's a lot more than that, but gaming is kind of the focus of this software for now. Um, so there's a lot of optimizations specifically for games. Um, and you can see, you know, multi-game like a boss. You can play two games at once. So if you're playing, like, time-based games, you kind of get that ability to do multiple things, which is pretty nice. Uh, it's running on Marshmallow, which is pretty good. It's not the m current version. I don't know why it's, or it's the most up-to-date emulator, but it's not running current version, so they should probably uh, get NuGet on there. But hey, it's better than every other one, so it's a start. Um, and again, it runs within Windows. Uh, it does not currently run on OS X. Um, you need Windows 7 or better. Uh, you need an Intel processor, 4 gigs of RAM, and at least 8 gigs of storage. Um, you also have to have that, uh, enabled virtualization tech in the BIOS. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right on into installing it. Oh, and yes, this is completely free, by the way, if you guys can see right here. N nothing to, to pay for. There is ads, though, so there's that. Uh, and I'll show you guys all of that once we're into it. Um, so you can either download it via a mirror or you can download it via torrent. Uh, I'll go ahead and open the mirror list. You can see it's either SourceForge, SDN, or Fossub. Uh, I just did it via torrent. Um, I have the file already downloaded so that we don't have to deal with that. And I'm going to go ahead and get this opened real quick. Whenever it loads, extract. And this will take a minute, so I'm going to go ahead and like fast forward through this part. Okay, so now that that's done, we can go ahead and go in here, and this is pretty much it quote-unquote installed. Um, you don't actually have to go through an installer, um, but when we launch this, there's one other thing that you might have to do. I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. I'm not going to deal with advanced settings right now. Um, Intel Hardware Acceleration Manager. Let's see if it handles it on its own. Um, in some cases, you'll have to manually install the Hardware Acceleration Manager, which is what I have up here. Uh, and if it comes up, I'll show you guys the process for installing that, but I don't think it will. And if it doesn't, then I'll just link that to the uh, link that in the description in case you guys do end up needing it. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and fast forward through this since I don't know how long this part's gonna take. Okay, so we're finally in. It took uh, just a couple of minutes, and we're going to go ahead and... Uh, one thing to note, you press Control and Alt to get out of Remix OS. Once you're in, it locks your mouse into it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select English. Agree. And whenever this finishes loading. There we go. Continue. Uh, so there's two ways you can go about getting apps, or two ways you're supposed to go about getting apps on here. Um, let's just randomly pick, like, Twitter, and, uh, no. Sure, we'll take Spotify and Netflix. No, no, I guess I'll take Solitaire. Sure, finish. Activate Google Play. Um, now, first thing that I want to do is actually, oh, see, there's an ad. That's one of the annoying things about this, um, but if it's actually in here, yes, Play Store. I'm going to have to set up an account real quick. Um, I'll just create a new one. I don't want to sign into an existing one.
Okay, so now that we're in the Play Store, one thing that I want to show you guys is, and my biggest annoyance, let's see if this actually works. If it does, I will be shocked. Oh, can't download up. And it will just keep installing, and I'll stop this. And as you can see, I'm clicking on it. It's not stopping. Um, that's a pretty common error. I've not actually seen anyone mention that they can install apps from the Play Store yet. So, because of that, as of right now... Oh, maybe this will help. Okay, well, while that's happening, as of right now, the only way I've seen people actually be able to install applications is through this or through uh, applications that you download the APK for online, which is still viable for getting your programs, but it's just not as good of an option. So that's my big issue with it. This and the ads are really uh, difficult to deal with. Uh, but ultimately, besides those issues, it's a you know fairly functional version of Android. Let's go ahead and launch Solitaire. I haven't actually tried to play a game, but let's see. Uh, yeah, I mean, it works for sure. I mean, you can drag cards around. Boom. So, yeah, I mean, all in all, it works very well for games, and if you don't mind downloading the APK directly, it's still a very viable OS, but if you're looking for uh, both primarily something that doesn't have pop-up ads every once in a while, because it's not just when you launch it from what I've seen, it's... It can sometimes happen when you're just using everything. Um, oh. Still checking info. So yeah, there's issues with accounts. Like, even when you're using an existing account, which I didn't my first time installing the OS, it didn't let me download uh, anything from the Play Store. But ultimately, um, it's just something that I think needs more work put into it before it's really worth anyone's time. It's still very much a uh, work in progress. Um, but that about wraps it up for this. I just wanted to do a quick overview of the OS and uh, kind of show you guys kind of how it works. So thank you guys again for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.